Shalomon, and the Hebrew Israelites. We're back on the streets again for another Saturday. Push this word. First and foremost, we give all praise to Yahweh. Give all praise to Yahweh. Give all praise to Yahweh. honor to our apostles and elders that taught us his word. Much love to the brothers pushing this truth around the planet in sincerity and truth. Yes. You know, I just want to get into, you know, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. As you can see, our people are totally gone. Whether you go out, out and about in your everyday life, you know, Jake wearing all types of crazy clothes, you know, tattoos all over their face and body, you know, gang banging, selling drugs, acting a fool online, you know, robbing people, acting stupid, man. Our people are just totally gone. But for the remnant, we totally gone as people, you know? But that's because we lack that knowledge. We don't know who we are. The churches, they're not pushing who we are in the church, man. They never have. You know, they have this thing called a 501c3 charter, man. So they can only teach what the government allows them to teach us. The government come in and shut them down. They have that contract. So we all grew up not knowing this truth. But through, like, the miracle of Yahweh Shai, man, we all woke, woke up, man. At least the ones out here teaching this truth. The hopeful elect, Lord will, man. Well, let me get that card in. One and twenty. Wisdom cry it without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. That's what we do every week, man. We're out here on these streets crying out. This is where the wisdom's gonna be. This is where we're gonna tell you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who you are, man. We got to stick out and we'll tell you. We can just tell you through the scriptures as well, through prophecy. You know, that's where you're gonna find these true wisdoms. It's out here on the streets. Not in these churches, but not in these holiday houses, man. Okay. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse and in the openings of the gates. The chief place of concourse, right here on Ventura Boulevard. We were out there in Hollywood. We used to be out there on uh, Broadway, downtown, the chief place of concourse, man. The Agoras, man. The, the storehouses where people are at. Where our people are at. Now you know? we out here in Ventura. Ventura, yeah. Uh, with a lot of shopping centers, a lot of restaurants, people walking by. This street, that street, people driving by. You have no excuse that you haven't seen the prophets of the Lord. No excuse. Can candle lit on the hill cannot be hid. That's right. So you gotta be out here to share the light. Be out by some light. He cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttered her words, saying. How long, ye simple ones, will he love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Yeah, that's what we say. How long? Man? How long do you want to, you simple ones, love that simplicity, man? How long do you guys want to love being a, a black man in America, a Negro, you know, a Latino? Loving that simplicity, man. Loving that easy life, man. Not knowing who you are, man. How long? Yeah, we've been out here for years, man. Our apostles and our elders have been out here even longer. So how long? When will y'all guys start to wake up? Is the devil going to have to come down on you with wrath? Is that, is that how y'all going to wake up? Yeah, like it says in Isaiah, they're going to wake up right before they be put to death by the missiles, by that fire, man. Because Isaiah asked, how long is our people, majority of our people, going to be blinded? And the Lord said, until the cities be wasted, all right? And basically until the destruction comes, man. That's when our people are going to realize, man. Because our people are blinded from receiving this truth. All right, the Lord has an angel blinding them from right. receiving this word. All right, but that, they're gonna, the Lord's going to take that blind off them right before they die, man. Because it's not meant for all of our people to be delivered this time. It's only meant for the elect. All right, that's going to be delivered. The one third that's going to be delivered from America. The two thirds here in America, they're all going to perish, man. All right, they're all going to be put to death. Right. It's also going to be a famine of the word, you know. You know, if all hell breaks loose, people are going to be looking for answers. You know, the prophets ain't gonna be out here, you know? You ain't gonna be able to get the knowledge, you know? And you're gonna be wondering why, what's going on, what's happening, you know? It says, uh, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit in unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. For our people, they don't wanna be reproved, man. The spirit's being poured out onto you right now. This word is being known unto you right now. Dark sayings are being broken down the right way, yes. right now, you know. Right. So, how long? All right, go ahead. And it says, Because I have called and he refused, 
I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. That Lord's calling you right now and you're refusing. That's why we only got one brother out here right now. You know, back in Hollywood, we had like one brother, two brothers coming out listening. Back in downtown, we only had a couple brothers out there listening, you know. The Lord is stretching out his hand, but you know, nobody's listening, nobody's regarding it, you know. So when the hell comes, when the time of Jacob's troubles come, man, you have no, you have no excuse, man. And the Lord's gonna laugh at you through his men. Yeah, because one way or another, whether it was on the streets, on, on the internet, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, World Star, each Israelite's been exposed to the, has been told the truth, man, of who they truly are, of who their God is. But the thing is, our people refuse, man. They, 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 they refuse knowledge, man. Uh, like it says in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge, man. Because I have called and ye have refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You said at naught all his counsel, all, all, all this rebuke, all this knowledge that we've been telling you, you put it at for naught. You put it as for nothing, man. You didn't regard it, you didn't listen, you didn't care. Now people follow the ways of pain because it says in Psalms 50, uh, 50 and 17. Esau hates instructions, you know, and he casts his words behind him. And that's how you Israelites are. You cast the Heavenly Father's word behind you. Like, like it, it won't have effect upon you. Right. And it says, um, I will laugh, I will also laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh. The Lord knows your fears. He knows you how to really get you, man. And he's going to laugh. Now he's going to laugh through his men. Okay. Isaiah 66 six and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and bring their fears upon them. Yeah, so the Lord's going to bring your fears upon you, man. So whatever it is that you fear, that's what you're going to have to go through, man. Right. Oh, have you ever really seen them? Oh my gosh. The type of things that they were seeing, the Lord was putting bring their fear, the fears upon them, like creatures, newly created creatures, you know, uh, apparitions, it was hella scary. Though. And that's what the Lord brought upon um, the Egyptians, yeah. all right, Second Ezra 15, it says, I will smite Egypt with plagues as before, and the Lord is smiting the world with plagues as Egypt, but it's, 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 he's going to intensify it, man, because when it comes here, and the Lord releases, uh, release one of the plagues that the Lord brought upon these Egyptians were evil apparitions, man. And the Lord is about to release that on you, upon you people, man. Uh, you think Conjuring 2 or Con right now you have Conjuring 3. Yeah. Everyone's scared of that. Annabelle. All that is nothing compared to what the, what the, what the Lord got prepared for you people, man. All right? How the Lord's going to uh, uh, cause you a, a delusion and bring you whatever you're afraid upon you, man. All right? That's right, man. All y'all want to be entertained by the left-hand side of the Most High. Y'all like those scary movies. Like the exorcist, y'all want to get into all that scary shit. Oh, that's about to be real life. That's about to be real life, man. The Lord's going to bring the spirits upon you, man. Whatever it is that you're scared of, man. You like playing with Ouija boards and shit. You like dabbing into that left-hand side. Both sides going to bring all that on you, man. Hey, you want to see a tough nigga X off real quick? Put a snake on him or something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Lord have a big-ass spider. Or, uh, that he knows how to break you down, man. Yeah, call uh, arachnophobia. Fear of spiders. Most of will have a whole... That's the spiders just eat you up in the middle of the night. Man. Oh, rats. Rats. You know? Jake, run like a baby when they see rats. The Lord might have a mouse or a rat eat your eyes. Can I bring out this real quick from the back of his head? So, um, this is the Hebrew word for, uh, uh, this is the word for uh, delusion. Okay? The Hebrew word is tha i la wa la yum. Alright? Which means, uh, whatness. Caprice, vexation. All right, the Lord's about to vex you people with these different judgments that He has prepared for you. Right now, if you look up the word caprice, let's see real, real quick. Let's see what that word means. Let's look at the word up. It says caprice, a sudden, impulsive, and seemingly unmotivated notion or action. Let's see, a sudden, usually unpredictable condition, change, or series of changes. Um, let's 
says, a sudden and uncountable change of mood, behavior, you turn right because what the Lord is about to do, all right, is going to be unsettling. You're not going to be unsure. Like it says in um, Luke 21, uh, um, the Lord's going to put your people in uh, perplexity. Yeah. You're not going to know what's, you're not going to know what's going on. You're going to be lost and because you don't have the, what, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to, to guide you on, on these things and why these things are happening. Because real soon when he's, the Lord stretched out his hand with judgment, okay, because right now he's stretching out his hand with mercy through, through his prophets that he, out, that he has out every week warning you. Now when he stretched out his hand with judgment, you people are going to be looking for answers and how to be delivered. All right? Guess what? You're not going to be delivered, man. All right? So you people, so going back to Isaiah, the 66th chapter and the fourth verse, it says, um, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, right, the Lord is calling right now through his prophets. All right, you're not going to hear a voice like, like, like in the time of Samuel when he was in the temple. Or the Lord called Samuel. You're not going to hear that, man. The Lord is going to call you through his prophets, man. All right? So it says, when I called, none did answer. Right, you people did not take heed. You people, like, like read in Proverbs, put the Lord's counsel to not. The Lord is counseling. Not to, he didn't take heed to the message. All right? So it says, when I called, none did answer. But they did evil before mine eyes. Right, like it says in John 3, it says the light has been shown unto them. But our people hate the light and uh, love darkness because their deeds were evil. Here it is, the light has been shown unto you. But you people rather stay in darkness, man. You, rather, you don't want to come into the light because this light will choose your ways, man. You can't do what you were doing in the world and still be in the light. So you people rather choose uh, to be in darkness, man. All right, and you continue to do evil before his eyes. Now, what are the Lord's eyes? The angels, man. Because the Lord got angels everywhere watching, like it says in Proverbs, watching the evil and the good. And it says, um, when I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. So you people, you choose what the Lord did not delight in. This is why when the Lord stretched out his hand with judgment, all these people are going to die, man. And the Lord ain't going to show no mercy. Right. He's not going to hearken on to your cries. He's not going to hearken on to your prayers. It, like... When we continue reading, it says he's going to laugh at your calamities, man. And how is, how is he going to laugh? Through us, man. All right? Because we're going to be celebrating the downfall of this fucking place. All right? It says, in that day, uh, Egypt shall be like unto a woman. What's the characteristics of a woman? She's always afraid of every fucking thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's what, uh, how you people are going to be when the Lord brings that day of uh, judgment. All hell breaks loose. You got to right. women have no faith either. Oh, okay. This uh, book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36 and 15. It says, And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up bedtimes and sending because he had compassion on his people. So, like the brothers are reading, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, he's pouring his spirit, you know, uh, uh, through, through the way of the prophets, man. You know, his words are being known through the prophets. You know, the Lord have compassion. There's a scripture that says, Where art thou love us? Oh, Malachi 1. Let's yeah. Get Malachi 1. It says, Whereas thou hast loved us. This is the love right here. Yeah. yeah. This, is the, this is love. It That's ain't right. coming anywhere else. Like, right. this is it. But yeah. Like the brother had quoted in the book of John, uh, the third chapter, man, you hate that rebuke, man. You hate the light. You'd rather be in the darkness. Well, then, you know, this is right now, it's, you know, being shown true love. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Malachi 1 and 2 says, I have loved you, say the Lord. Right, the Lord loved us. Yeah. Right? It says, that's why he chose us. It says, yet ye say, word in has thou loved us, right? Because what's been happening to our people, how we've been oppressed by Esau, again, constantly getting killed and gunned down and, 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 and put in situations, you know, to our people that, you know, that we don't deserve yeah. in their eyes. They think that the Lord don't love them. You got to ask why that happened. Right. And they, what our people don't know or understand is that this is the Lord's way of punishing us through our enemies, man. All right. Because what does it say in Psalm 17? That the Lord, the the, 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 sword, the sword of the Lord is the wicked. Yeah. All right. The Lord uses the wicked as a sword, and right now, you, using the wicked, which are the so-called white man, and this is why we constantly getting gunned down, locked in prison, killed all the day long in the streets, because the Lord is using this man to punish us, man. All right. To to punish us for what? For not o obeying him. All right. But here it is. We got our people that are like, oh, the guy don't love us. He hates. We constantly getting killed and killed in the street, not knowing why. All right, it says, um, I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. Right, 
because who was the first born? Who was the first born? Jacob and Esau. Oh, Esau was born. Right. And by by the right, he was since he was the first born, he was supposed to get the blessing yeah. and the birthright. But what happened? In Hebrews 12 and 16, it says he was rejected. Alright, the Lord rejected him, man. Because why? The Lord hates Esau. And he loved Jacob. That's why he put the spirit in Jacob to supplant him of his birthright. Alright? And then and then put the spirit in Rebecca, alright, our, our, our mother, to help to help us out to get the second blessing, man. Alright? And so Esau was ultimately rejected because why? The Lord hates his ass, man. Alright, for all you people that say that the Lord don't hate, the Lord hates Esau. It says, I love Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So, uh, this is the love. The love you, you Jakes are asking and questioning the Heavenly Father, where is it? This is it. It's right here. Right now, like brother said, you're in this grace period, man. Right now is the time to repent. You're going to get right. Like Yahweh God should be out of The forest. All right? Well, it's uh, back in Second Chronicles uh, 36 and uh, 15. It says, rising up in bed times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, all right? But here's uh, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets, all right? You wanted nothing to do with this truth, man. You, you, uh, you slayed the prophets, man. You misused them, man. Hey, and our people have been doing that all, all the time, man. What did they do to Jeremiah? They locked him up, you know? To the point that, you know, Jeremiah, when you read the book, in the beginning, he had, you know, love and compassion on our people. Yeah. To the point where the most I said, don't be moan, don't cry for these people. Right? And so, until, so, you know, Jeremiah went through that hell. So what do our people do? They chastise them, they put them in prison, man. Then he had that spirit of, fuck these people, man. You know? Just look what our people did to the Lord, you yeah, shine, man. They put him on that cross, but that blood is on your hands. Right? You're gonna have to pay for it. This is uh second Ezra 1 and 32 says, I said unto you, my servants, the prophets whom ye have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, say the Lord. Right, so a lot of our people that did that back then are here today. Just because they didn't get punished back then, they're about to be punished now, man, and they don't know why. Yeah, that, that won't be able to happen again. Some of us might get beheaded, but there's going to be a standard lifted up amongst the elect. And you people ain't going to do shit. God, we just read how the scorners delight in their scorning. So yeah, that hell is coming to you, man. Yeah, I'll finish it really quick. So back at 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. It says, But they mocked the messengers and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai arose against his people till there was no remedy. All right, so there's not going to be no stopping none of that killing, man. Two thirds of you people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, you are you are going to die here, here in Babylon. All right. Yeah. Uh, Nehemiah nine and twenty-six. Nevertheless, we were uh, disobedient and rebelled against thee, and cast thy law behind their backs, and slew the prophets which testified against them. So there's nothing new under the sun. You guys been neglecting the prophets since day one. Yeah. Which testified against them to turn them to thee, and they wrought great provocation. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them. And in the times of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants you to repent, cry back unto him. The only ones that are going to do that is because he don't want the two-thirds of our people to, uh, to cry out to him. That's why he blinded them. Yeah. It says, according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of the enemy. So you want your situation to change. You want to get up out of the ghettos. You want to get out of that cycle of black culture. It starts coming to the word of Yahweh Shem El Shai. The Lord has sent his men. The saviors, but we can't save ourselves. We need the Lord to save us. That's right. The uh, spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. The prophets are back here today. We don't know who they are, but well, we're part of that number. The prophets are back here today, and the Lord said He's going to use the prophets as a battle axe, weapons of war, you know, against two thirds, against these other nations, man. 
the art of prophets, you know, starting with the apostles, the elders, and us brothers out on our powers of always diligently every week. We all those prophets, man. Who else is teaching the truth? The hundred percent truth, man. It's warning about this destruction, warning about what's about to happen. Chilling on our people who they are, man. Not a lot of people, but you know, the men of great millstone. You know, we are we, we believe we don't we're those prophets, man. We can't tell you who we are, you know, we don't know who we are. But right now that's not important, man. What's important is we teach this word and get this message out, man. Alright, that's what's really important, man. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse uh, 26. I will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear uh, cometh. Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Yeah, distress and anguish. That's coming upon all you people out here, man. Yeah, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Stress and anguish. The Lord said He's gonna laugh at that time. Man. So this is no joke, man. You need to be out here listening to these men out here on the street corners, man. You're getting this knowledge, getting this truth, so the Lord can abundantly pardon you, man. So He can forgive you for your sins, for the sins that you did in your past life, man. So that you can get through this time of uh, Jacob's trouble, so that you can get delivered. Don't well, you want to get delivered, man? Or do you want to get hit by these missiles? You know, with two thirds of our people, man, they're like Brother Red or said, you know, Most High has an angel by each one of y'all, man, blinding y'all from this truth, man. That's just, that's just yeah, man. Yeah. a serious deal, man. And it says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, hmm. but they shall not find me. That's when you're going to call upon the Lord, when that distress and that anguish, because all y'all are comfortable right now. Yeah. Y'all comfortable as hell. Hey, Israel's like that woman that act like she don't want you, but when she in uh, a financial uh, struggle, when she need help, right. she run right to you. Is it? Yeah, we she it yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got a taste of that when that COVID first hit. All of our ex-girlfriends were calling us up. Like, hey, man, how you doing? Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay, I got this. Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction they will seek me early so when jake's getting the ass whooped when they feel in the jacob's trouble and all that that's when our people keep going to seek the answer and you got like a, a glimpse of that you know when uh you remember that time they uh there was a false warning about the missiles going to hawaii oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. my brother uh kapar he, made, he was on live and he had like what 33 people watching him because what were people doing? They were going online seeking for answers. Why is this happening? You know, people were probably praying to God. I'm about to die. So, you know, they want to turn their lives to God before they die. <laughs> all right? Because people, you, you like to wait at the last minute, man. All right? That's how, yeah, that's how Israel's waiting. Yeah, yeah Jake wait waits at the last minute. Because because they've been brought up and taught that in these churches that you could choose the Lord. All right? When I went to church, they're like, yeah, you could choose the Lord whenever you want. So with Jake, with that mindset, Jake, all right, if I could choose the Lord whenever I want, I'm going I'm to I'm do what I want, have fun, enjoy my li wicked life, and then when I get old, all right, when I get old and I have, the funds get born, I'm going to choose the Lord and, and turn my life to him. That's not how it works, man. All right, it says, the, um, seek the Lord while he may be found. Or the, seek him early. There's another one. Uh, um, young men. Yeah, in that youth. Uh, yeah, in that youth. Yeah, in that youth. We're supposed to seek him in our youth, all right? Before the evil days. That's right. We're supposed to seek the Lord. Before the evil days in our youth, not when you get old and the Lord has no use for you because you're an old bottle. And like it says, a new wine can't go into an old bottle, man. You gotta seek the Lord while, while you're while in your youth. And that's the thing, a lot of our people are not doing it. This is why, you know, you know, when we were in high school, we were uh we we're in the bus and everyone was amazed how we all had Bibles talking about the Bible. We had people come up to us, you know, we have to part just having, you know, going brothers, you know, part teaching us the scriptures. People came up to us, man, it's it's so nice to see young guys, young men, all right, t talk about the Bible because they expect what? These young guys, young men like us to do, to be wicked, to go out, to fuck bitches, because that's what all uh, are in these uh, young men's mind. Fuck bitches and get money, man. Not seeking the Lord. Do what, do as they please. All right, but that's not our, that's not, you know, what the Lord, when he brought us, that was not, that's, that's not what we, that's, that was not our motivation, man. Our motivation 
was to be delivered, man. All right, because you have a lot of young gener young Jakes that are living a life that are not seeking the Lord, man. But when they get in the ass whoop or they're about to be drafted into this war, that's when they're going to want to get right, man. Our provider is going to be too late. So, yeah, pretty much like the brother was saying, you know, this is uh, the one I like to go to. You know, when these Christians, you know, like to repent in the, in the very last minute, you know, it doesn't work this way. Right, because... Go ahead. Yeah. It's the book of Sirach 5 and uh, 6. It says, And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. And that's the mindset of our people. They think that by the time you're young and oh, you're young and all that, you know, you can live your life, enjoy your life, do do as you please. You know, that YOLO mentality, right? You think they have that, you only live in one spirit. So do as you please. And by the time you get old, oh, well, God is merciful anyway. He, he, hey, I get to choose whenever I want. Hey, I can go to him whenever hey, I want. You see why the Lord bothers them because they mock the Lord's mercy, man. Yeah. Right, you're taking the Lord's mercy for granted. All right. The Lord, the Lord, mercy is, is is great upon His elect, but He's not great upon the wicked, because you people are willingly wicked, man. Yeah. All right. Think about it. Think about it. All of us are worthy of death, right? Now. Right. You know, if it wasn't for what Yahweh had done for us, we, we can't save ourselves with the law, man. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. So it, it goes to show you how compassionate the Lord is, and not to abuse it as well, man. Yeah, and that shows you that we are the people of the Bible, because back then, before Yahweh shy. Uh, died on the cross, what what was what were the peace most side for our sins? Sacrifices. Uh, we used to sacrifice lambs, goats for, for sins that wasn't worthy unto death, right? Our people abused that. Yeah, and our people yeah. were abusing that. Alright? They they did they premeditated uh, sins. Yeah. Alright, like, alright, so I'm gonna do this. You know, my girl, she's not bleeding on the period right now, but you know, you know, uh, there's still like three, four days left, but I'm fucking you know, so she they'll be doing that. They'll, 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 they'll lie with a girl when she's supposed to be off her rag. You're supposed to, she's supposed to be on touch for seven days, and then when they do it, they'll they'll get a they'll get a uh, sin offering and offer a sin. But Jake was doing that so much to the point where the Most High got tired of it, man. Yeah. He got tired of it. It's like when you go to a restaurant, you keep eating the same food, you smelling the same food. It happens. Eventually, it happens. You get tired of it, man. And the Most High got tired of Israel sacrificing because it wasn't sincere. It wasn't. It, it wasn't in sincerity, man. All right, the Most High knows your heart. He knows if you're serious or not. And you, a lot of you Jakes that do that, or a lot of you Christians that are old, lived your life, and and, and decided to choose, uh, to, to choose to follow the Lord because you know your funds up, you're getting old. But the Lord knows that you're not really sincere, man. He, he knows your heart, man. All right, but you people, you took, you didn't take the Lord's mercy when you had the chance. You rather enjoy this world, man. And that's why you're about to be perish. Says, I say now his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Yeah, because another thing they taught in church is that God's all love. He's forgiven. Alright? For mercy and wrath come from him. Right, mercy and wrath come from him. Alright? But a lot of our people rather face the wrath of the Lord than 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 and experience his mercy, man. Because what does it say in Psalms 55 and 7? In order for you to be delivered from the wrath that he's going to bring. You need to forsake your, you need to forsake your wicked ways yeah. and your unrighteous thoughts. That's what you need to do. Alright? And you need to do that when, when you're young, when you when you get this word, whenever you hear this word, whenever the Lord, you know, you ever come across the prophets. Alright, that's when you need to do it. Not put off the, the Lord day by day. And that's what a lot of you people do. You hear this word, you may it may be pleased to hear and you go on about your life, doing doing what you want, man. Thinking that uh thinking that the Lord can can just save you because you believe in you. You're, you're good with his men. You have to be good with him. And in order for him, to, in order for you to be good with him, you need to be clean, man. You need to believe, first you need to believe in, in his son, or the father and the son. You need, to, you need to believe in his truth. And first, ultimately, you need to forsake your wicked ways, man. Yeah. You need to repent sincerely. Okay, go ahead. It says, and wrath come from him, and his indignation right. resteth upon sinners. Right, his indignation resteth upon sinners. So, right, one thing that they don't teach you in church is that God hates sinners, all right? They say God hates sin. When Sirach 12 and 6 says that he hates sinners and he keepeth them to the day of their punishment, all right? So his wrath is, is upon sinners. And in order for you to, to escape his wrath, you need to forsake your ways and our righteous thoughts so he will have mercy because the Lord needs to see, all right? The Lord more about action than, than words. A lot of our people, they're more taught than their action, man. They say they love the Lord, but really they don't because they're not keeping his laws. 
All right, they find any excuse in the book to continue to eat pork, smoke weed, and all that. All right, to give them any excuse in the book to continue sinning. All right, and really, what's the opposite of love? Hate. Right. So if you're not keeping the laws, all right, you're not showing the Lord you love Him. Really, showing how you hate Him, man. You don't fear Him. And the Lord requires that every that we fear Him, man. All right, but a lot of our people are learning the hard way. That's so like it, but yeah, really think about that punishment as well, man. He starts gonna come in like a flood, you know, and he's not gonna be able to touch you know, the elect, but the two thirds of you are gonna get tortured, man. Extremely, like these the, the FEMA camps, you know, these torture rooms, you know, that, that's all you know meant for you. All right, right, so right now is the time to repent you know, from uh, from your wicked ways. Verse 7, it says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Right, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Now, y'all first remember that Jake, that like, come by, he says, What's up? His, his dog with him. Yeah. He's tearing day by day. Yeah. You know, he's tearing. You know, you're not taking it seriously, man. Yeah, you can learn and all that, but you gotta understand this is not, this is serious business, man. This is your life that we're talking about. You can't make no tearing day by day because you. Who knows, man? Who knows? Next week we won't be here. Either the spirit can have us move to another city, all right, or or, 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 or hell can break us. Yeah. So that's why it behooves you to why why was the Lord still got His men out here to take heed, man. Yeah, brother, I just posted on the on the group chat about uh, how there were certain blackouts on certain websites, you know, this week. So yeah, soon enough, like the brother saying, you know, we might just be out of here. It's a lady in my job. She told me about she had a blackout. seeking for mercy in those days man yeah. you're gonna be seeking for mercy you're gonna be seeking to be saved man but you you're not gonna receive it because while you're at liberty all right while everything was normal you abused the lord's ways you didn't take heed to his prophets all right you, you, you enjoyed your life you enjoyed your life living in sin man and therefore you're about to be punished for it yeah, like it says in Proverbs, that's when you're gonna call the lord but it's not gonna answer you. they have this thing talk about living without regrets they don't have no remorse for anything that they do. It's crazy, man. It says, um, which have, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Man, yeah. and be tortured, man, by yeah. these judgments. Right, you, you, you cast the words away. You Like we read in Proverbs, you put the Lord's counsel to not. You didn't really take it seriously. A lot of Jake scoffed at this. Went by a bunch of days and like, oh, I just thought we're another church, thought we're another religion. You know, you we really don't understand the seriousness of the Lord's men being out here every week, man, until it's too late. And they say, in the last days, just come, shall come scorners walking after their own lust. Because really, they want to continue in Esau's world. And they always, they want to fulfill their flesh. Like you had this one lady, she came in, she was like, I know the world is ending, but I'm trying to look cute. Hey, I had uh, I had an ex-girl tell me like, hey, I know this world is wicked. I know God's about to judge it. I just want to have fun. You said, what do you say? Laugh now, cry later. Yep, laugh now, cry later. Are yeah. right, you gonna have yeah. fun now? Laugh now, cry later. You know what I mean? I also been seeing that you know that coexist like all the, with all the religions together. Oh, okay. My brother saw that one just now. Yeah, like coexist. You can't. Also, I separated people. Yeah. Separated the nation, man. Yeah. Bunch of our uh, coexistent shit. Two and two can all walk together. Yeah. 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 Separate the wicked from the good and destroy the wicked. Yeah. In these times, and it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, you see that right now with celebrities, these people on top, they receive these benefits. They got these houses, you know. It's that scripture, you know. Where it's impossible for a rich man to enter. Yeah, they receive these benefits, man. So they're living comfortable. They're not thinking about the Lord. They're not thinking about the end times, man. Prime example of that is that, that Nick Cannon guy. Yeah. He was all into the truth. He knew a little bit about the truth. He was trying to teach it or whatever. But the Khazars got him. 
And he ain't teaching no more because he doesn't want to give up them riches. He doesn't want to give up those women. He doesn't want to give up those benefits. So what the brother quoted, it, man, it's hard for a rich man to answer. Because you're too comfortably. You have, you, have, you, have too, you have a lot of things to uh, uh, forsake, man. It yeah, says... Could they have received a consolation? That's what I was thinking. Oh, it okay. says that... Um, it says that... Um, Jake, no, Jake. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like. But it says they have not known me. You can know that you're an Israelite. You can know your heritage, but you don't really know your how about no, Shemel Shai. And it's more than just knowing too. Knowing is not gonna get you saved. That's what a lot of Jake think it is. I think that's just knowing that the Israelites are gonna get you saved, man. No, it's not. You will get it the worst too. No, that's that's first Peter's four and seventeen. That's why it says they call upon him. They're gonna to try to call upon him in those days. Yeah, right. They actually, call his name. Because you got Jake that that are, that that watch videos, all right, for entertainment, all right. But you got Jake that in these, that got money, that that watches videos, that know the name, that know who they are, all right. In those days, but they're not taking they're not taking it serious. They're not they're not willing to forsake their uh, their riches, man. Not oh, that's what it came back to me. Uh, those that seek to save their life shall lose it. And a lot of a lot of our people are not uh, willing to forsake their life, especially the ones that that have made it in this world, man. Like you quoted, uh, like you mentioned, uh, Nick Cannon, man. He yeah. wasn't willing to give up his life, to lose his fame, lose the riches, and all that for Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai said he was so willing to uh, fors forsake his life. My namesake shall find it, man. All right, but Nick Cannon and all, all other rappers, we're just using them as an example, wasn't willing to forsake it, man. He was, he wants to save his life here. But what's gonna end up happening? He's gonna lose it, man. All right, he's gonna lose everything. All right, cause what? It's gonna happen. America's gonna be destroyed. All right, that means your riches, your car, your bitches, your mansions, everything's all gonna be fucking destroyed, man. Hey, bro, did you ever see that one commercial? I think it was an Allstate. The dude had a, a dollar on the fishing line. Oh yeah. yeah. You gotta be a little quicker than that. Oh, yeah. You almost had it. <laughs> hey, real quick, I got that. It's the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 24. It says, well, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. All right? Destruction, man, suffering is gonna come to you. People who are rich, you know, on this side, man, what's, receive the benefits, you know, that the so-called white man is giving you. All right? Right. And what's the consolation? Consolation is a comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. Yeah. Of course. Right? Uh, a person or a thing providing comfort to a person who has suffered. Right? And Jake, you know, we've we all been suffering, man. Like, you know, Jake, you know, these entertainments, they've been trying to make it, trying so hard, they've been going through the trials and tribulation, trying to make it in this world, and they finally got an opportunity to make it. But what they lose? It says, you gain the whole world, but you lose your own soul. So you got these Jakes that, you know, that have, that have talent, whether it's in the athlete industry, entertainment, singing and all that, they gain the whole world, but then they end up losing their own soul, all right, just trying to make it out here, all right? And what they receive? They receive a consolation, all right? Which is, which, what's the consolation they receive? It's temporary, man, because everything's gonna perish in this world when Yahweh Bashim Shah destroys the miracle, right? It says, uh, 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. It says, Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. So in that day of trouble, in Jacob's trouble, man, you, you are going to receive the full force of it. Right, and your riches are not going to be able to save you. Like it says yeah, in the Proverbs, so. riches are, will not deliver you in the day of wrath, man. Yeah. Your riches are not going to save you. And then that's what a lot of people think. They think that their money can save you. Just because it saved you out of this pandemic, hey, man, ain't going to escape you. You ain't gonna save you out of this, uh, what's about to come, man. Because when this economy collapses, everyone's gonna feel it, man. All that cash you've been flooding on the internet, you know, it's gonna be useless in that day. You might as well just use it to wipe your ass if you run out of toilet paper, you know? Fire. Yeah, you might start a fire. A vest to protect them. Yeah. Dark no suits. Oh, yeah, it might. It says, verse 11. And they that have loathed my law hated, you know, just like they don't want to hear the law, they don't want to hear the truth. Well, you rather they, hear lies, it's like it. You rather hear lies, and, and like it says in like, I think Isaiah or Jeremiah, you rather hear the lies, speak unto us lies, speak unto us new things. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you rather hear lies and what's 
what's comfortable to your spirit because our people they don't want to hear about America being destroyed because this is their hope. Their hope is in this place. All right, and all their hope is about to be lost when this place is, is collapsed and all hell break loose and eventually destroyed. But their hope's gonna go along with it, man. That's right. They enjoy that wickedness. You know, they don't want to be root. They don't want to be told the right way because they enjoy the wickedness. They enjoy doing, you know, what's against the scriptures. Man. That's why they got to run. That's why the light shines on them. They scatter like roaches. Man. <laughs> And they, they also they taught Christian churches and doctrines that you can't be judged. Only, only the Lord can judge you. Yeah. We bring up scriptures. That's that's what hurts. Like you cut by the judgment. It's fine, but you don't want to be judged by the Lord. You want to be judged by His men. Like, oh, that's what you want. You don't want to be judged by Yahweh. Because because it says what? It's a fearful thing uh, right. to fall into His hands. All right, and you people don't know the Lord. It says in Surah 43 that He's terrible. terrible. You know, in the ancient world, they used to call Him. And one of his titles was Alashaja, a demon-like power, man. You, look, you got to think about it. He flooded the whole world, killed everybody except eight people, no one in his family. All right? You got to think about that. And when they say God loves the God loves everybody, but think about how he flooded the world and how he, he, it said that he sealed the door shut. So there, that means that there's young ch children, newborn babies, babies and all that, women, all and men, old and young, all di died in that flood, man. Begging to go into the ark and the Lord, like, nah. Think about it. The Lord was all about love. He would have opened the door, let them in. Right. So, all right, I love them. You know, I'm merciful. You know, you Jakes, like, the, back then, they waited until it was too late for them to, to make it. Because the whole time when Noah was prophesying, what, what what happened? They were mocking Noah. All right, they, were, they didn't believe it was going to rain. Because back then, it didn't rain. What watered the earth and, 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 the, and the plants and all that was, was the dew from heaven. Right. All right, but when they said, when Noah came out, said it was going to rain, like, what? It's going to rain? You crazy. What the hell? You know? So so they didn't take him serious until it was too late. Until it was too fucking late. All right, and by then, they, well, they all got soaked away and died, man. All right, he had all the animals, all the people trying to go to the highest part of the mountains and all that to try to be delivered from the flood. The flood eventually swept them all away, man. All right? Yeah. So just like right now, you know, it sounds crazy. 200 million more heads. You know, you have boats coming, you know, yeah, to destroy this place. Yeah. You know, you people think that's crazy, but it's coming. That's the coming. judgment of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. That's right. Man, if hey. they make billions of bullets, of course, they make it missiles like nothing. Right. So back then, in the no time, time of the flood, they, they, they made terror to turn to the Lord, man. Just like you Jakes are doing now. They're making terror to turn to the Lord, man. All right, but when the time you turn to the Lord, it's going to be too late. This is going to come. You're going to see missiles leaving. Your ass is going to get burnt up and then if you feel that, where it says Zechariah the 14th chapter and 12 verse, yeah. your eyes are going to melt upon you, upon you in, in, your, in your mouth, your tongue, your tongue, your tongue it's going to melt in your mouth, your eyes are going to melt, yeah. and that's not, and that's not, and this shows you how terrible the Lord is, like it says in Psalm 43, because drowning to death is a very, very painful way to die, alright, it's very fucking painful, what's drowning, being burnt to death, but what really, they both, Painful, yeah, man. They so both. Fire. No one wants to suffer. No. One, if you ask someone, it would rather be drowned um, or, or, or or burned. That's kind of like a hard question because both of it. That's a painful way to die. Yeah. All right. When water, you can't breathe. The water is getting into your into your lungs and all that. It just you're, you're suffocating. And then burning. All right. Yeah. You you're, you're getting literally burnt. Like I have I have this mark right here from a from a burrito that I put in the microwave for two minutes when I was like uh, like 15. It's still here. Now it's from a two-minute burrito. I put it in the microwave. And how much more of the fucking missiles? All right. How much more? That shit's gonna burn. Cause, like it says in Malachi, that 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 day shall be like um, shall burn as an oven. All right. Just representing how hot it's gonna be, man. Cause the missiles, it's gonna it's gonna burn a lot of people up. Yep. And your ice is not gonna burn This is another terrible thing with the Lord. This is why he's also known as being terrible because. People are gonna be left in there. Yeah. You're gonna burn in front of the wrath and the holy angels and us. We're gonna witness if we, if we make it. We're gonna witness you, you people burning, man. All right, we're gonna witness you people on the internet, YouTube. Just type in Great Millstone. Great Millstone. GMS. No problem. So you people, you're gonna. Your, your ass is gonna be left down here, and your ass is gonna melt, and your spirit is still gonna be left down here. 
even though you could be in a point where you know you could already been dead, but the Lord is powerful, yeah. He controls everything. He gonna leave your ass alive, and you're gonna feel it, man. You're gonna fucking feel it. You're gonna feel that fire, and you're gonna and, you're, and while you're feeling that fire, you're gonna think about you scoffing the prophets, you you making terror to turn to the Lord. You're not taking it seriously. All the wicked shit, and all you people that uh did did, did the apostles wrong, the apostles and elders and those brothers, you, you, all the people that. You know, did you wrong, bro? They won't be left. They're gonna think of that. All right, they're gonna think about all the sins, you know, all that adultery they were committing, all that pork they were eating, all that adultery that they were worshiping. Because in that time, it's not like they're not gonna know. They're gonna know, like like it says in Isaiah six. They're gonna know until until the cities be inhabited, uninhabited, man. The cities be laid waste, man. Until the destruction comes, that's when they're gonna know, and it's gonna be too late. And they're just gonna be sit there. And they're gonna feel that wrath, man. I'm telling you, man, we don't want we don't want to feel that, man. This is why we're out here every week. Uh, that's what we gotta do. We, we gotta do because we don't want to feel that fire. Because that's not a, that's not a, that's not a, uh, 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 painless. It's not a painless uh, way to go out, man. That's very painful. Yeah. Uh, very, very, very painful. And knowing that Yahweh Bashi Mao Shai, knowing him, he could make it feel like it's a thousand years. It's an easy thing for him to slow you know, that time, bro. Yep. He controlled it. To him, belongs the issues of death, man. Right. Yeah. It's a simple thing. There's a thing called a slow burn, and then the Lord can make you slow burn. Yeah. The fire is like a lingering pain, and the Spirit of the Lord is going to be in the fire. That's right. Hey man, for you wicked Israelites, man, there's no such thing as eating a missile, bro. That, that shit's going to hurt. It's gonna, you're you're, you're going to suffer. Alright? Right. Brother Rest said, the Lord controls the issues of death. The Lord controls your spirit. Now you think you just killed yourself or whatever. No. You jump off a building, you break every bone in your body, man. Lord, Lord, you still have your blood, man. You still have that spirit in your body alive. Thing. Feeling everything. Feeling everything. Yeah, that shit. You, you see videos of that. You know, the actual people jumping through the buildings, man. His back is like turned, you know, all the way to the other side of his body. And he's, feeling, he's breathing, feeling every second of it. Ah, yeah. It says that um, you're going to have people. You know how when you have a shy, um, when, he, when he put on the cross, how people rose up, to, rose up, rose up from the dead? Right. You're going to have. That happened right before the missile, so you can't really escape your judgment, man. Don't think that you can kill yourself like you're saying. Because the Lord could, even if you die, the Lord could just send your spirit right back and come out. Because it says right here in Revelation 20, right? Um, it says, Revelation 20 12, and I, saw, and I saw the dead, small and great, and before the Most High, and the books were open, and another book was open. Which is the book of life, right? Which who, who are written in the book of life? The elected, right? It says, And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to the works. And, and this is the point. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead. Right? So the people that, you know, probably died, they're going to they're gonna come out. He went for this loud ass card. Yeah. People that already died, right? The Lord's gonna send his spirits right back to the body. They're gonna come come out of the graves, man. Yeah, that's right? reserved for the wicked, you know, the wicked individuals out there, man. Right, so that that uh that knew about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that uh so like so like so like people like Kobe Bryant, all you uh you know, your favorite athletes or uh, rappers that may have died. Yeah. The Lord can just send the spirit right back to the body, man. They feel that fire. Yeah, you false teachers that let our people astray. Right. Yeah. This is why it's a fearful thing to fall into Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's hands. It's very fearful. And a lot of you people are gonna learn it the hard way, man. Because we're learning it now. We don't want to fear. We don't, hey, what does it say? Work out our own salvation with what? Fear and trembling. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're, we're fearing. Because I don't want to be destroyed. I don't want to feel that fire. Alright? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's right. The water. Terrors of your out bus from Yashai going to persuade men. And how you read, how do you know about his terrors? All right, read, read the scriptures. Look about, uh, it says, it says in this, another scripture, there's judgment, uh, the Lord's judgment played out every day, something like that. You know what I, you know what I mentioned? Uh, I can't look it up. Well, the Lord's basically, the Lord's doing judgment every day, man. You see that, yeah? Yeah, you see his judgment being played out on earth every day. All right, and there's to be some terrible judgments. Terrible judgments, man. All right, and we see that in the ultimate judgment is going to be when he brings that fire. Let me see um, if there's more. Well, it says in the sea, in the, 
verse Revelation 20 13 and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and the hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works right so you're gonna be judged according to your works how you lived your life here in Babylon did you what, did you live your life serving the Lord and doing what he doing what he wants you to do or did you do as you please a lot of our people they're doing as they please this is why they're gonna face the wrath man of the lamb it says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Right. Now, people, you know, the Christian church, they read that and, oh, yeah, we're going to be put in hell. But no, the lake of fire, the second, the lake of fire is a miracle, man. The second death when the Lord brings that nuclear destruction. That's that second death, man. And the ones that are going to face that second death are the ones that, that, are, that, are, that are the two-thirds, man. The ones that, that, that have received that mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Right. They're going to they gonna face that second death, man. They're going to feel that wrath, that fire, okay? Back to 2nd Ezra 9 and 9 and 11 now. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Right. It's open up right now. Well, what does it say, uh, John? What did John, what did John the Baptist say? He said that, who I want you to flee from the wrath to come. Right? Yeah. Because uh, it says uh, repentance is not for everybody. Repentance is really right now for the elect because the elect are looking for the ones that can sincerely repent, get right with the Lord, do what they got to do, and they're going to be delivered. Right? But the rest, right, are not going to make it. Like those wicked scribes and Pharisees that turned over the Yahweh shot to the Romans, they're here and they're not going to make it. All right? They're not going to repent. They're going to they're gonna face that second death, man. They're going to feel that fire, man. All right? They're, gonna, they're not going to flee from the wrath to come. So what's the wrath? Ultimately, the wrath is the destruction that Yahweh Bush and Yahweh is going to bring in these last days, which we're living in right now. It says the place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. Right, you didn't understand that right now is the place of repentance is open unto you. Alright, it's giving you, uh, the Lord's giving you a chance. Alright, giving you a reason or, 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 or uh, how you say, it? he's not, you know, he's not, he's allowing us out here so you people have no excuse that you never heard this word. Alright. So you can't say Yahweh Shemel Shai is unmerciful. Yeah, because yeah. he's been merciful. Yeah. It says that he's slow to anger, and we're witnessing right now. He is slow to anger. Because throughout years since the 70s, the Lord has, you know, we had our pop, we had uh, upper Bibbins, we had the elders of our apostles, we had the One West, then then you had the, the apostles that came out of One West. But from 2007, that's like, what, like 40 years from now? 40 years the truth been out, man. The Lord is slow to anger. Right, but it also says that he's great in power. You know, we're all going to witness his great power, his great wrath. And like it says in Habakkuk, because Habakkuk and all the prophets, they saw the wrath that Yahweh Bashim al Shah was going to bring in these last days. And they trembled. All right, Habakkuk, he, his bones crippled, man. Daniel, he got sick of what, what they saw. Because they knew the wrath of the Lord is great. And we're about to witness it. What, what did Habakkuk say? Wrath, remember mercy. And that's what we want in those days. In his, in, his, in his upcoming judgment is is mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, the same must know it after death by pain. There's more people that are going to know it. Right. right. When they get burnt to death, that's when they're going to know it. Because I ain't know, uh, it's a very painful way to die. You get burnt alive. Very. So you, the same will know it after death by pain. The brother says it ain't no just eating a missile. Ain't gonna be no instantaneous death, man. It's gonna be death by pain. Remember, I had a person like was telling, "Hey, man, you better get right." He's like, "Man, we're all gonna die anyway." This is my, we're all, oh, okay. It's not about you're all gonna die anyway, because I'm not. I'm out Lubin, You know, I don't die Lubin. I'm, I'm one of those souls that don't taste death. You know, Lubin, We're all one of those souls that don't taste death, all right? But you people, mindset. That's your mindset. Is that oh, oh we're all gonna die anyway? It's not that you're gonna die. It's about how like you, how you're gonna die. And even if you're gonna die, the Lord can just bring you right back to life just for you to face that missile, man. Yeah. All right, so there's no escaping your judgment. Yeah. For, those, so I can, for those of you that do make it to the end, man, think about you know the wrath that leads up to it, man. You know, the hell. Yeah. But like uh, we spoke about it earlier, man, the people can't, the famine, why right, the pestilence. Right, and that's what the Lord's gonna bring to make people suffer. Cause like again, it's not about how you're gonna die. The Lord can make you suffer right before you die, man. Yeah. Bring great fears, cause you vex your spirit to the point where you want to die, but you can't 
yep. you know, that, that's spoken of in the Revelation, you know, it's, it goes into the first world book, but you know, that, that could be applied to, to now and then, man. Those, those, those that wish for death, man, but did not receive it. Right, all right. Uh, I got this recent, uh, where you got? It's the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. It says, for this time, or, uh, yeah, it says, for this time has come, that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yeah, and judgment is going to begin with you Israelites, man. Why? Because we have a thousand years to get Esau, man. We've got a thousand years to enslave all these other nations, man. You know that judgment must be started at the house of Israel, man. Yeah. Which Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that refuse to get right. It says it must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first began at us, what shall the end of... Us... What shall the end of be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? All right. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Yeah, the judgment is going to start upon you. Jake said, knew the truth, that knew the name. Then it's going to, then it's going to go down to the ones that you know didn't know. You know the ones that, the ones that, you know, they didn't come into the truth and they didn't put the hand to the plow. All right, judgment is going to start at them. Yeah, that, that will come uh, upon them. Yeah, that, that scripture in Luke, man. You're going to be being with uh, many more stripes, you know, the servant of Luke. But, you know, like it's saying, man, the righteous are scarcely going to be saved, man. We're going to be pushed to, to our limit, all right, to our absolute limit. And that, that's when we will be deemed up, all right? What's going to happen to the righteous of the ungodly, man, that, that's something over there, right? It says, uh, and if the righteous uh, scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Barely make it out. Yeah. What about John? The rest of the other, more willing with those servants. They're willing, yeah. You know, man, and escape the inescapable. 200 million missiles. Yeah, and, uh, it's in Revelation where we're going to look down and it's going to be like a sea of glass. You know, we're willing to go where are those brothers. Alright? It says, and if, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful as a, unto a faithful creator. So when that anguish, that fear, that destruction cometh, that's when you guys are gonna call upon the Lord, man. By then it's gonna be too late. So uh, Proverbs 1 27 when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Yeah, you're not going to find the Lord in that day, man. You know, when that famine of the word hits, and the prophets ain't out there, that's when you're going to seek the Lord, man. When that fear cometh, when that anguish cometh, man, and you deserve it. You deserve to die, all of you. Why? Because you have, you have no knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Man. And you don't want to have any knowledge of the Heavenly Father. You don't want to get right. So the Lord is going to have to destroy you. So this is in the book of Hosea. Alright. Let me see. Oh, I got you. Yeah, this is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. It says, It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Yeah, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Because you have rejected oh, knowledge. Yeah, you. you know, you're out here every week on the streets, like we said before. I'm a place of concourse. I'm telling you what the deal is. I'm telling you, breaking down these scriptures. And you're rejecting the knowledge every day. Alright? So the Lord is going to reject you in that day. Hey, and people, people are like, uh, you ever seen those videos where, uh, or movies where the girl don't want a dude, but then the dude gets his, like, his, his things up, his shit together, and then she want him, and she's surprised that she got rejected, but she rejected him. And that's how the Lord going to do with you people. You're going to be surprised, but you rejected the Lord. Alright, and that's why it says, uh, also, you wander from sea to sea. You're going to come all, from all over looking for the word, but it's going to be a famine. Done. You're going to get rejected from the bread of life. 
Like we brought up before, like the brother brought up about how, you know, we had that premeditated sin, man. So that's the reason why all these curses came upon us, man. We did that Deuteronomy 28, 32. Oh, sure, yeah, finish. Finish that out. It says, uh, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast, reject thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Damn, you forgot the children, man. You forgot the law of their power. So that's why we went into slavery, man. That's why, you know, we're dealing with the shit that we're dealing with. That's why, you know, we read in Malachi about how they, the Lord don't love us. The Lord love us? No, you don't love the Lord. That's why we didn't keep the commandments to the best of our ability. That's why we're doing that premeditated sin, having the sacrifice ready. Because at the end of the day, you didn't love the Lord. So therefore, the Lord's punishing us. That's why we're destroyed today by these curses. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 in verse uh, 32 and it says that thy sons and thy daughter shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long and there shall be no might in thy hand. Yeah, we have no might in our hands, man. We're completely destroyed. You know, we were sold into slavery from the beginning, man. That's why we're catching the hell that we caught, man. And that's why we're catching the hell that we're continuing to catch. Why? Because we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. We rejected the knowledge of the Lord. We took advantage of the Lord and his ways, man. The days that are coming is going to be worse than slavery. Yeah, it's going to be a day like no other, man. And the same way the Lord took away your might in slavery, the Lord is going to take away your might in the day of Jacob's trouble. You ain't gonna be able to fight against it. Or strength to overcome the peace Yeah. You're gonna try, like the brother said, but you're gonna get out of And it says, Thy fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. And thou shalt only be oppressed only, Salaki, and crushed always. Damn. Oppressed. Crush always, can't enjoy the fruit of our land. Hell, we lost our land, man. Yeah. Why? Because we're wicked as hell. Mainly two thirds of the people, man. That's why you're catching the hell that you're catching today. We're giving you this knowledge on the street because you don't want to hear it. But you're going to be seeking it in the end. So, our people still, because they reject the Lord's laws, statutes, and commandments, even unto the end, you're going to be crushed always. Crushed. Because the Lord gave you a chance to repent and change, so the curses won't have such a heavy effect on you. Yeah. And it says, So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Verse 35, The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with sore barched that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot to the top of thy head. Yeah. All these diseases that you catch, you know, fucked up in the head, fucked up in the body, you know, always get sick, sicknesses and shit. That's because we rejected the knowledge of the Lord, man. And we were destroyed all the day long, you know. It goes for your northern tribes as well. There we are. And it says, verse 36, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which shall which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known and there shalt thou serve other gods wood and stone I yeah, say so the Lord will bring thee and thy king because we all witness slavery man, to a land that we, that we don't know we didn't know about America this isn't our land man. and here we're serving other gods man. we're serving all these other idols we're serving Jesus Christ we're serving Buddha we're serving this we're serving that you know destroyed all the day long man. Uh, get, uh, jump down to 54. 54. It says verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you, very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Yeah, that's why your jigs kill each other. That's why you have that evil eye, man. That's why you always got to stare down another, see, you know, the black, quote unquote, black man on the street. Y'all mad dogging each other. Yeah, that's so fucking man. Bro, that is so true. Like, we're supposed to be, we'll be the only Jake 
in the goddamn eat of my area, you want to fucking mad dog me and shit. Right. You know? And Jake like to bang on Jake's just to see where Jake is from. <laughs> well, I act all tough yeah. towards your own people. When I toward you, you should really be acting tough, which is Esau. You know, right. like, it irritates me, bro. There's, there's like some Jake's that look like some goons, right? They were helping this elderly Edomite and this elderly Edomite woman out of the car. Being nice as hell, yeah. but let him Jake step on his shoes by accident. Yeah. Good. Crowded place, you know, you accidentally step on someone's shoes, you actually bump into them, they're ready to fight you. Yeah. But like what you said, I was in, I was in, uh, I used to work in downtown Bourbon, number of Edomites down there. Number, you want to find another Jake for another 40 mile radius, man. I came across this one Jake, and I was crossing the street, this motherfucking mad dog in the shed, looking at me like you wanted to do something. I think, why did they do shit to you? Yeah. What the fuck staring at me? Yep. Bro, be in Esau area, and like, It'll be, hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. They treat you better. They treat, yeah, they treat you way better than Jake, man. I, I school, you know, you brothers didn't, you brothers didn't show up. I, I hanged out with this, I hanged out with this one dude. And, and these other, uh, other Jakes, they were just, I just had a problem with them. Well, these two thirds of school, especially with Judah, there's a lot of Judahites in our, in, 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 in our, in our school, man. You know, they, 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 you know, these, you know, Jake, you know, bully and fucking get on, get on their own people. And they really should be doing that to their enemy. Right. Which is these other nations. Exactly. You know? yeah. Can't do nothing with other Jakes, man. You know, evil eye towards their own, other, towards other people, man. Ultimately, Jake blamed Jakes, to other Jakes for their problems. But really, it's our own sins that have brought us to this uh, state. Right, yeah. And I noticed a lot of there's usually a lot of young Jakes that are like that. I mean, old, old, old town Jakes, these old, you know, what you call old G's or something like that. They, they, they're more, they're more, they're more for their people, you know. They're more, they make cool and all that. These young Jakes, these young gangsters, they, nah, they, 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 they look, they, they look more color. You're wearing too much red, hey, he must be a blood. Yeah. Let's fucking love red or or, or blue. All right, and you had a over here in LA, you had this uh, one guy. I think he was in a he was, he was wearing too much red in the crip area. He wasn't even in the gang, and they killed his ass for it. Man. You know? Real shit. I can't even wear this shirt in certain. My car breaks down in a certain area, and I'm wearing the wrong color, man. I may not make it out that area. Yeah. I may if not make it out that area. Edomite though, oh, yeah. <laughs> with some red, all red on, you're gonna be good. Justin Bieber in Watts. He broke down the Watts. They gave him all kind of love. They stand for us. Because he was. He was, he, was, he was Justin Bieber, bro. Uh, he was rich, you know what I'm saying? And, he, and he's a Jake. I think he's a Jake. He's a Jake. Verse uh, 54. So that the man that is tender among you, and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother, and toward his wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Back in the ancient world, when you got stranded or... Or you're a, new, or a stranger coming into your land. The Jake's supposed to see you and take care of you, man. Yeah. You know, feed you. You know, provide you whatever you need. If someone even tries to fuck with you, he's supposed to defend you because you're in his house. You're a guest in his house. We we lost that, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah. We had that love, like King David loved um, Jonathan. Uh, surpassing the love of a woman for each other. We right. Were very tender to each other, man. Go to your area nowadays, Jake. Jake want to rob you, man. Like that last simple ass Jake that got robbed for his 20k chain necklace. I don't know why would you spend 20k on a fucking necklace if you won 30k out of it. It's fucking stupid. All right, but um, see how Jake saw that and he robbed his ass, man. Jake, you know our our people are so quick to kill and rob each other, man. Fuck each other over. And then they got and they got the goddamn nerve to go out and protest about how Black Lives Matter, huh? Uh, fucking destroy their own businesses, steal from their own people and shit, and have the goddamn fucking nerve to say their lives matter when Esau kills them down, huh? What about when George Zimmerman, huh? Fucking kill, killed that one guy. I think his name was Trevor Martin. Yeah. He should have been dead because if that was a Jake, he would have been dead a long time ago. All right. Well, Jake, this is a hypocritical nation. Full of hypocrites, man. The music that Jake puts out, all they talk about is selling drugs to their people, killing, killing their people, you know, knocking up their girl, fucking your girl, yeah. fuck your girl, nigga. Oh, all that. Yeah. Selling drugs and rape, that shit, 
dumb going back to that scripture it says we have that part it says um and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave which he shall leave that's why you jake sing got your father's around man you know that's why the most high took away your dad you know so you guys know, because this curse is on your father man you're supposed to hate your father yeah because that's a curse that was put on us as a people right you have jake that uh, grow up with their mothers their mother hates their dad so they'll create false stories about him to the point where their son hates their dad man yeah. not knowing why the father left not knowing their father they just they just believe whatever the fucking their mother fucking tells them man you know having no respect or honor for their father no matter what your father has done to you you're supposed to always honor them. your father and your mother God. and the system was set up against you know the men and I looked at and I was ultimately Esau you know, he did that. He separated the fathers from the household because he knows, man. Yeah, so this whole system was set up to, to fuck up the family, especially the Jake families, man. Because, uh, really, your father is supposed to put you on game, give you his experience to warn you. And if Esau takes away the father, he takes away uh, that experience that you could have learned to give you a step ahead in Esau's system. Yeah. Esau knows what he's doing. That's why it says in Lamentations of 5 and 3, we are orphans fatherless and our mothers as widows, man. Yeah, and our people are so wicked, they be mocking each other for being orphans, you know, not having fathers, yeah. uh, not being widows and shit. But it's not supposed to be like that. I'm mocking for being too dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Lord, as a description of the Lord was that he has his feet were like unto burnt brass. So the Lord is dark skin. Very dark. You know? So verse 55, so that he will not give to any of them. Now we have to do that. Okay. That Isaiah 41 14. So we're destroyed all day, man. So we have no power, man. The Mosai took the power out of our might. Like we read in uh, the other verse 32, 20, 20 and 32. It says, uh, Isaiah 41 and 14. It says, Fear not thy warm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. It says, Fear not thou worm Jacob, man. It's talking to the elect, man. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, man. You have no defense systems out here. That's yeah. why you Jake's always got to protest. Talk about some hands up, don't shoot. Yeah. Cause you ain't got no power to actually get your revenge on these other nations that hate us, you know? Yeah, even if you try to set up your own vengeance, you fucking just send little angel provocateurs and all that, man. Yeah. You know, we have a, we call it NFAC, you got the Black Panther. He's all trying to set, I mean, Jake trying to set themselves up to be saved, man. All that's going to fold, man. No, the Lord said that we're not going to be saved with the bow or sword. We won't be saved by him. That's what we're patiently waiting for. So you know, you got, he had that Black Panther party set up, but what happened? He saw, he saw a guy in there and ruined it. Crap, man. He put crack in there and knocked up everything. Then you, then, you, then you all, we were all together. All right, we're all, you know, together. But then the Lord, he saw, he separated us. He separated that Black Panther. He created the Bloods and the Crips, man. We are all... Jake were all together, all one unity, and all of a sudden they became hating each other. And I even tore their brother, man. Yeah, that was like gangbang shit that was set up to help protect the neighborhoods. Right. You know, but Esau coming up in there and shit. Nah, nah. Then, but then they, they got flipped around. Well, now, now they're fighting each other. Right. You know, over a block. That don't even belong to either of them. You know? That's why I trust, but we gotta remain our trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. That's the system of really Lynch. His whole model was like, let. The Negroes, the nigga woman, the nigga baby, the nigga man distrust, distrust each other. Put them against each other. Find some way, whether it's color, height, you know, any little differences. Make them distrust each other and trust the oppressor. Jeremiah 41 14. It's uh, Isaiah 41 14. It says, uh, Fear not thou warm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, so the Lord will help thee, man. He's going to help us, man. It's time to take up trouble and ultimately to salvation. So even though we're worms, we have no power. This is our power right now, man. This is our comfort. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Yeah, just uh, like it says in Proverbs, man, the name of the Lord is like a, it's like a strong tower where the righteous run into it. The righteous are running into it. Hey, and also, we, when a worm worm survives in the shade, and the Lord is our um, 
forgot the scripture. I just had it. Shadow. Shadow. So the Lord is that protection for us. Because I picked up a, a, a worm before, and all it does is wiggle. Yeah. Like it has no anything to harm me. It's the best. Let it get the sun in the morning time. Yeah. 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 Hey. Dries up. Hey, and in the garbage can, uh, you know, you have these maggots and these flies. I open that shit up. Yeah, all these birds. Eat them up, man. Pick them up one by one. Because the Lord, he's about to turn us from worms to be defenseless into lions and being ferocious. Right. Devouring our enemies. Like it says in Isaiah, uh, the 40, 41 chapter. Uh, yeah, it says it's going to turn into hunters, man. Right now, we're just, uh, what does it say? We're just gathering teachers. Then it's going to turn us into hunters in that day, man. It's going to turn us into that battle axe of weapons of war. We're going to go from that worm state, no way of protecting, you know, to those hunters. Keeps lighting up and lighting up. All right, bro. Cool. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it keeps lighting up and lighting up. Right. So, what is this? Right here, it's lighting up. Keep reading. It's right there, buddy. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Lighting up. Yeah, yeah, turn yourself off. The chariots is out here, man. That's yeah, a sign from heaven, man. It's another one of these signs from heaven, man. That we're in these end times, man. Yeah. Chariots are paying us a visit, you know. Out here teaching the word. We're not dismayed. We're not dismayed of the signs of heaven, you know. Lord will, that's our salvation, you know. Jeremiah 46. And, um... 27. But fear not thou, go. My servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and be in rest, and at ease, and none shall make them afraid. He says, fear not, O thou servant Jacob, man, you gotta serve the Lord, man, if you want this salvation, then he's gonna save you from afar off. Yeah, for like a chariot right there. That's your salvation from afar off, man. And you want to get beamed up in that vehicle. Yeah. Man, right before the missiles hit, man. It says, fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed, you know, at, at salvation, man. Don't be dismayed at this word. You ever see our video of this Jake? I mean, the chariots were like, it was like seven or eight chariots all, all in formation. He was all bugging out. Being dismayed or we need to what is that? We need to shoot them things. You ever see those you ever see that video? Yeah, he's like, this is what y'all need to be shooting at. Yeah, because he was dismayed at the signs of heaven, not knowing that if he if he gets his ass right before it, it's too late, he could be delivered in one of those. Alright, says, You're not dismayed, O Israel, behold, I will save thee from afar off by seed. From the land of their captivity. We're standing in the land of our captivity right now, man. We want to be delivered out of that. You know? This is part of the knowledge that you niggas don't have, that you jigs don't have, that you don't want, man. The salvation of our people. Right? It says, I will save you from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, Jacob shall return and be at rest and at ease. So we're not at ease right now, man. Right? This is not our rest. This is polluted. We have to be delivered and then we'll be at ease. Then we'll be at rest. Right. All right. We can be comfortable and live our life and you know, be worried about be subject to payments, not working anymore, you know, not catching hell, not having women problems, not able to see the children. Jake, we're, all, we're catching all type of various hell, man, you know, as a nation. But majority of our people, they just don't know why. Well, they don't know why. And here it is, like you mentioned, quoted, this place is not a rest. You got Jake that catching all this hell, but still trying to make this place their rest. Right. You know? Trying to make, trying to find a way to get comfortable with it, man. The only comfort that we have, really, in this place is this word. The all blessing outside. And the brotherhood, man. Other than that, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's hell here, man. We're just, you know, surviving and maintaining, getting our daily bread and, you know, trying to trying to uh, endure until the, until the Lord returns and delivers us. John, and none shall make him afraid, man. You have to worry about having no fear. You don't have to worry about ever going down again. You have to, you're not going to have to worry about the cops killing you, right. pulling over, pulling you over, bro. Killed by your own brother. Killed by your own brother. Another black man with the, with the evil eye towards you, you know? 
You ain't got to worry about, you know, women putting on your child support, you know, or aborting your children. Oh, yeah. Like, like, that's another thing about men, though. You can make it in this world, but all that, you can lose it all towards a woman. Right. If you get married, if you get, uh, uh, if you get, uh, you get have kids with her and she gets on child support, your whole life can be ruined. A woman can take the whole shit, even your own fucking dog, if you get married, man. Yeah, these laws are set up against you men. Right? And you jakes, you know? It's not, it's not fair. You know, you jakes, you still trying to make this place your best. But we're not going to have to no, worry about that. Here. We don't have to worry about that in the, in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, I found a piece that I was looking for. It says Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, the Lord calls us a defenseless worm. The worm stays in the shadows. They stay, they, they stay in the shade. And the same thing, we got to stay in Yahweh Shemuel Shai because we are going to need that protection. Uh, yeah. Come on with that. Come on with those healing in his wings, man. Should wipe out all, all tears. Acts chapter one. What that at six? Yeah, sorry, six. Yeah. Acts one and six. It says when they therefore. So I can. Acts one and six. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Yeah, because that's what the prophets always ask. You know, when, will, when are you returning? When are you going to restore the kingdom? When, when, when are you going to establish the kingdom of heaven, man? Because we were always oppressed by you know, the Romans. Now we're oppressed here in America. And that was always the question. Even to this day, we always ask, you know, when are you going to restore the kingdom of heaven? And we know that when, when, when Yahweh Shai returns, man. That's when he's going to bring that healing. That's when he's going to bring that salvation, that deliverance. It's all through the Yahweh Shai. We have to wait on him. And the Lord shows, shows us that he can do that anytime. He had a chariot just pull up right now. Anytime. So we just got to be patient. Verse 7, it says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So ultimately, it's it's a uh, Lord Yahweh that knows you know the time when He's coming back. All right, the sun, the sun, Yahweh shine. Not even the sun knows the time. All right. It says, verse eight, for ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit. We, we stop. Uh, That's the reason. At the same time, we're warning you that this is the times we're living in the end times. You got to get right. Yeah. Before Yahweh shine leaps down here. Yeah, come. On. Because he coming. Comes, if, you don't, if you're not doing the right thing, your ass is going to get burnt up, turn into dust. You're going to feel that fire, man, all that hell that leads up to it as well, man. All right? It says, but he shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth. All right? Verse, uh, verse 9, it says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received them out of their sight. And what's that cloud talking about? Just like what we saw just now, just like what we witnessed, a cherry, you know? Just like the way that Shai left, that's the same way he's coming back to those chariots. We better know that when the skies is filled up, when that fathership returns, man. Thousands of them invade the earth, because they're already in the earth. He saw sees them every day, and he's afraid. And shares are taunting them, man. The curse is in the house of the wicked. Right. It's always here. <laughs> so, verse, uh, this is verse 10. This is, while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into the heavens? It says, this same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so the only way, you know, we're going to heal as a people, you know, is when Yahweh Shai returns, man. Yeah, just like the same way he made his exit out of here, he's going to make his return the same way, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So what does Yahweh Shai mean? He delivers his Savior. Matthew 1 and 21, I think, or Matthew says that, he comes to save his people. 
Our key word is people, not not the other nations. All right, because you got people that get confused when they read about Gentiles, not knowing the history behind that man, and how our people, the Israelites, you had Israelite foreigners that followed after the other nations. They made them Gentiles. All right, so at the end of the day, the Lord's coming back to save His people, man, from from the head tribe Judah all the way to Ishakar, man, all the tribes, southern and northern. But when he does, we're not gonna be, when he does that, he's not gonna, we're not gonna be known as two kingdoms anymore. We're gonna be known as one nation. All right, the nation of Yasha Allah, man. Prince of the power, Israel. All right? And that's that's when you read uh, Revelation 7, when it says 7,000 of each tribe. Oh, no, 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 12,000 uh, out of each tribe. All right, 12,000. What's 12,000? What's 12 times 12? 144. There's 12 chosen tribes, and out of each tribe, there's gonna be twelve thousand of the elect that are gonna that are that are, that are gonna be delivered plus the one third. All right. So 12, 12, 12 times twelve is one one forty four. So twelve thousand times twelve is one hundred forty four thousand. All right. And 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 that when it says in um, Isaiah one, if we would have been like unto Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? They were destroyed. All right. And we would have been like them if it wasn't for what the elect. All right, that the Lord has, like, uh, the, the Lord has chosen for the beginning of the earth. All right, another another name for the elect is the first fruits, uh, the remnant. All right, because before this, before the Lord made everything, before the Lord made the earth, the universe, He already had He already had everything written up how how it was gonna go down, man. All right, because this is like we're like in the Lord's movie right now, and He He's the director, and He or He's directing this movie, but we're just actors, and what we hope is to be part of the part of the 144,000, which are going to be one of the main characters of the Lord's movie. John, there's 7,000 that never bowed, bowed the knee down to buy out. That the hope for elect. That's why we come out here every week, you know, hoping that we are able to make a diligence, you know, to make our call on the election sure. We want to be in the chariots. We don't want to be down here or the nuclear missile to touch and burn everything. Burn like a day day that shall burn as an oven, man. We don't want to take any part of that, man. You know? Like, uh, uh, you heard that song, Twinkle Brothers, uh, Babylon Fallen. It's like, I want to sit in the mountain top. Oh, yeah, that's Benjamin right there. Yeah. They're watching Babylon fall. Flee Babylon. What did it say, uh, Micah, Micah? Uh, flee, uh, for this is not your rest. You're yeah. not talking about, you know, fleeing, getting an airplane ticket and moving out of America. No, it's, it starts with your mind. All right, because when the chairs come, not only are they going to bring destruction and kill a lot of people, but they're also going to save the Lord's elect, the, the Lord's remnant, the ones that are chosen to be delivered from the destruction that's coming to this place, man. Yeah, it's too far, man. Uh, Revelation. Revelation 6 and 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals and heard, as it were, a, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts said, Come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Yeah, so that white horse represents Yahushua on his chariot. So when he comes back, he's coming back conquering and to conquer, man. Yeah. To take down these nations and establish his kingdom on the planet Earth. Man. Bring back order. Bring back water. And just like how the elect help Yahweh Shai create this earth, the elect are gonna help Yahweh Shai set up order on earth, man. So all everyone I don't want Yahweh Shai to rule over them, we're gonna slay him right before, like I said, slay him before me. All right, cut their goddamn heads off, man. You don't want Yahweh Shai to reign over us. It's uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 19, and uh, verse 12. It says, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Start up at 7. Well, okay, come on. Yeah. Come on. This is the book of Revelation 19 and 7. It said, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Yeah, the marriage of the Lamb, man. The bride and the bridegroom, man. Yes, the elect uh, meeting up with the Lord up in heaven, man. That marriage. Go ahead. Uh, right now is the time we're preparing ourselves. Getting ourselves right. All right. 
it says, and to her granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. So we represent the real white people, man. The elect, you know? Whoever those men are, they're the real white. They represent the white, all right? The white linen represents purity, man. They say made themselves white the blood of the man. So this word, taking heed to this word, following it actually made us uh, it says in Psalms, uh, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word thereof, man. Yeah. That's how you uh, truly get yourself clean. It says, uh, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed, oh, uh, sorry, I'll read it. Should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, where the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, right blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of the Lord. And I fell to his feet worship, to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. That's the spirit of prophecy. That's why we're out here prophesying, man. We're not out here you know, spilling the tea, giving all this gossip and all this other bullshit, man. We're out here prophesying, man. Yeah. Telling you what's to come before it happens. We're telling you about the mark of the beast, the chip. We're talking about, talk, telling you about, you know, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, as it will be a time that never has before, all right? We're out here telling you about World War III. It's on the brink, all right? And how the least of the flock is going to draw them out, how Amalek is going to get this thing popping, man. Oh, slowly but surely, man, it's happening, man. Go and Terry, wait for it. This is how surely gone. Yeah, like brother saying, we're not here to be busybodies, but we're here to be, you know, busy, you know, prophecy. Alright? That's our job, is to be occupied in prophecy, watching the news, you know, telling you what's going down. And yeah, we have not shown to tell you the whole truth about the harsh judgment of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Yeah. Yeah, like we said before, the brother said, the Lord is terrible. It says in the scriptures, the Lord is terrible, man. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, man. You have to fear the Lord, man. Too many of our people, they don't fear the Lord. Why? Because they lack the knowledge. Right. You know? They lack the knowledge. That's why we're destroyed. That's why we went to slavery. That's why we're dealing with the shit that we're dealing with. That's why we're under these nations. That's why Esau's kicking our ass. Yeah. Right? One thing that kept us in check, our forefathers in check, was the fear that they had of Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai. But we lost that fear. But most of our people lost that fear. Because right now, the whole fleet lets, we fear the Lord. We truly fear how much Shimei was shy, man. Because you people think that he's all about love and games, and he and and he, he's all you know open arms and he accepts anybody. But you're gonna learn you're gonna learn the hard way when he brings forth his great wrath, all right? And he shows you why you should fear him, man. Because like I, like I said earlier, you how much Shimei was shy deserves to be feared, man. We all should fear the Most High. Hey, you don't fear the Most High one way or another, right? Either now or when you see that great destruction. That he's about to bring to this place. When you get gunned down, when you burned alive, tortured, you won't fear, you won't give the Lord his respect. Somewhere or another. Uh, it's Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. That's why we're destroyed all the day long, man. The vast majority of our people are sottish. Sottish children. Extremely stupid, foolish. Dumbasses, man. Yeah. That's why we're in the condition that we're in, right? What they want to do is the lust of the flesh, right? Which is the flesh. I got to know. He said, uh, Proverbs 15. And 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. You see, you see these, like, you watch basketball and all that. You see these people have great passion for sports. Great passion for folly. That's not, that's all about folly, man. All right, but our people have, they love that. They love folly. They love being entertained. They love doing what they want, man. All right? They love all this folly that's sitting great dignity. All right? It says, folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. And that's what our people lack. They lack wisdom. All right? They lack knowing who they are, understanding who their power is. All right? Understanding who their enemy is. Understanding who they are. Understanding why, why, why what's happening to them is happening to them. 
why they constantly being oppressed by this devil. All right. It says, but a man of understanding walking upright. That's what we are. We're walking upright. That was it. Done. No, yeah, yeah. People are just distracted by this, uh, this bread and circus. You know, these sports, these games, or whatever. They distract you from what's really going on out here, man. Uh, it's uh, back in Revelation 19 and 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. God, that white horse again. Let's talk about that chariot. Man. When Yahweh Shai returns, he's coming back in a big chariot. What they call a UFO or an IFO, you know, because we know what they are, all right? You know, and he's coming uh, to judge the world, man. His final judgment on the world, which, uh, you know, Babylon is going to be destroyed, man. And there's going to be war out there in the Middle East, all right? It says, His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and his name written that no man knew but he himself, all right? And that many crowns is going to come from these different uh, kings. Rulers from the other nations, all right. These presidencies, ambassadors, all that shit. You know, Yahweh Shai is coming to reign with our great dominance in this world. It says, and he was clothed with a vesture and dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. All right, you know, there's gonna be you know chariots up there in the skies, man. You know, he's coming, you know, with uh, many armies, man. Boots, you know, with these different chariots. All right. It says, verse 15, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with with it should smite the nations, and shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress and fierceness and the wrath of the Almighty's power. All right. So Yahweh Shai, man, is coming to bring you know a lot of judgment. A lot of people are gonna die. God, that's why it says he has his his vesture is gonna be dipped in blood, man. This is all the killing that he's going to do. All right. Put that in Isaiah. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom, which thy garment from Basra? This is that glorious, this is glorious in his apparel. Now, now Basra, what Basra? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a the capital city. Right now, what is Basra represents this? What does Brasma represent? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, it represents, you know, but... Oh, when he tried it out, it was right? I mean, uh... It's a miracle. He has blood on his, uh, his garment? Yeah. Uh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Right, yep. You're right. Brasma, it represents a miracle. Because out of all, out of all, he saw in my country, right? Yeah. What country would really he control them? Oh, America. America. Right. Yeah. And it says, this is that, this is glorious in his apparel, showing you how magnificent it was when he come back. It's going to be a uh, splendor. Traveling in his, in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, Verse 2, wherefore? Gosh, you want to have that greatness of his strength, man. He's going to come with these chariots, man. Like the brother said, it's going to be glorious. White horse. Every, everyone's going to be amazed. All right? Everyone's going to be expecting an alien, you know, uh, a some sort of figure, but it's going to be our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right? The same, like, like uh, we said before, the same way he exited, it's the same way he's going to come back. All right? Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garment like him that treadeth in the wine fat. That's yeah, so when you on all those grapes. You know, that, that grape juice gets all over you, man. Yeah. That's how, it's, how, how his garment's going to look, theoretically, or like it's metaphorically. It's a metaphor for how the Lord's going to do a lot of killing. No. Yep. What does the wine fat represent? I'm just asking. I'm not going to do It's just the people. Oh. Yeah, what kind of... I guess what So America's going to be like the thrusting floor. Grapes gonna get smashed. Smash and dash. <laughs> Smash and dash. And it says, um, I have trotted the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread. <laughs> I will tread.
tread them in my anger. He said he's going to tread them down in his anger, man. So the Lord ain't coming back to hand out daisies, as we always say. You know? He ain't some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, you know, says, says the right bloke here, coming back to hold hands with babies, man. He's coming back to tread the blind fat. Why is, why is he coming back in anger? Why? Yeah, why? Ask yourself this. Why? Why the Lord here? Go into the history. Read, read the scriptures. Of what happened. Watch the Passion of Christ. That movie. If you want to see it. Alright? Even though know that you know they have the people wrong. What happened to you when he when he was here? He was he was scoffed at. Uh, he was spit upon. They hit him. Alright? They tried to put him to death a couple of times. And then they delivered him to the Romans where he was where he's whipped, bruised for our iniquities. Put on a cross. Now, when he was put on the cross, they nailed his hands and his both feet together, all right, to the cross. Oh. That's painful. Yep. All right. That's very, very, very painful. All right. He, and before that, the, the, the Edomites, the Romans, the centurions, the soldiers, they put a, a crown, a, a, a crown of thorns on his head. All right, mocking him. King of the Jews, King of the Jews. Now think about that. If that happened to you, and if you had a chance to have your vengeance, would you be happy? Would you be smiling and all that? No, you wouldn't. You'd be fucking mad. You'd be thinking about having vengeance every fucking day. All right? You want to get every single motherfucker that laughed at you. All right? When and the, Because when this happened, when I wish I was died, he died during the Passover, right? Now, Every year, in the, in, in, when the Romans ruled, they released. Um, every year, they released a prisoner. All right, they delivered um, Yahweh Shai and uh, what's up, Barabbas, right? Which was a murderer. All right, they actually did something. They actually did something to deserve to be there. Yahweh Shai didn't do nothing but teach, the, the, he teach this word and did the will of his father. Right? Now, when they are when. Pilate asked, who do you want free? What did what the majority of our people um, say? Rab, um, Rasibus. I said it right? Rabbis. Rabbis. Right? They didn't choose our Lord. Here it is. Yahweh I created them. Alright? Was with them in the wilderness. Alright? Right. And our own people delivered them onto the Romans to be put to death. Now you really think that when he returns for the second time, you really think that he's gonna be fucking happy? Right. Yeah. Think about it. It's common sense. He's not gonna be fucking happy. So what the fuck are these Christian churches saying? That he's coming back with open arms and love. That ain't fucking true, man. That's all fucking lie. Cause when he comes, he's gonna be fucking mad, man. And a lot of people are gonna fucking die. Yeah. It's all gonna, right. It's gonna be a mass murder. Man. <laughs> the Lord only died two days ago, so it's fresh on his mind. If, if, if you died yesterday and the Lord brought you back, you wouldn't think you would come for the person that killed you? Right. You most definitely would. But you got these stupid Christians like to say, well, I love everybody. Well, if I, if, if I were to get your whole family and, and kill them right in front of your eyes, you wouldn't want me dead? It's common sense, man. Uh, you, people don't, you people don't know what you're, you people don't know what you're asking for. People don't know what you're, people don't know shit, man. What right. did to the Lord was worse than a public lynching, bro. Uh, continue reading. I said, did you read it? Vengeance is in his heart. Isaiah 63. Yeah. 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 And it says, I will tread in my anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall sprinkle upon my garments. And I will stain all, uh, I will stain all my remnant. Raymond, Salaki. For the day of the Lord. The, of, the day of vengeance is in my heart. That's the point. The day of vengeance is in his heart. All you wicked ass niggas that were back there that turned the Lord over to the Romans, that chose Brab, uh, Brabus over him, uh, that scoffed, that mocked him, that falsely accused him, all right, you're here today and the Lord's about to visit your ass, man. Hey, man. All right, he's about to visit you. And, and it says in Revelation 1 and 7 that he come up with the clouds. That clouds ain't talking about no cloud, right? It's talking about the chariots of the Heavenly Father, which you people call UFOs, all right? That's what he's coming back in, 
and every eye shall see him, even the one that pierced him when he was on the cross, man. Bro, if you have vengeance in your heart, you meditate in terrors, man. Y'all about right. Shemel Shai meditate in terrors that he has for you people. How you gonna scream when them, miss, when them, when them laser beams hit your body? Oh, it says, uh, um, 